Okay, this is a video on exchanging a blower motor. If you're having a problem with your blower motor, uh, with the key out of the ignition is still running, you have to, first thing you need to do is pull the fuse, the number 25, 30 amp fuse. That's the only way to turn that blower off. And what you do is screw the, uh, the vent off right there. And it's one screw that just loosen it and pull it on off. And then there's three screws under this um, kick plate right here. And uh, you just take those three screws off. And after you take all of them off, what you would do is the um, second one right here. Because it's kind of awkward up under there, but you got to get up under there some kind of way and get them out of there. Once you pull out and take all the screws out of there, then you got to kind of, it'll drop down a little bit. And what you do is drop it down enough to just pull it kind of straight out. Because it's on a little, little hook up in there, in the back up in there. And it's plastic, so be careful with it. One, you see, once I, I drop it down, pull it down a little bit, and it'll pull it right out. And just make sure the rug is out the way and everything. And there you go. You have to slide the little latches on the box in there. First thing you do is unplug that electrical plug. It's, it's a prongs in there on both sides. Just squeeze your fingers together and pull it down. Yeah, and then. Just slide the little um, latches back in. And if this is the first time opening, it's kind of stuck. So you got to get something and, and kind of pry up on it. Not hard, but just enough just to, you know, that it would, it would go down. And try not to pry with a latch area. Maybe in the, in the center. <laughs> Having a problem. Get you a little screwdriver and just just pry it down. It'll pop right down once it it break break free. But make sure those latches, both the latches in the center, you know. See how it's kind of pulling through, pulling down. There you go. Yeah, make sure those latches all the way in and don't break them. Just there you go. There you see how easy it is. Just drop down. And the wire is still attached, so be careful. And uh, first thing you do is, um, I guess what you would do is, is that's a blower motor right there, a blower, blower resistor right there. And what you do is disconnect the, the wires, two wires that runs to it. So, this. Pay attention to how the wires are situated and what they're plugged into. And it's really just just pull and just pull them out, the wires out. You don't have to yank it out, but it's on a little clip. Just slide it off. Ease it on off. There you go. And it's two, like, torque screws holding it. And just look at the new one that you buy. And see where they located at, and you got to feel for it with your finger, and then maybe you can get your little your uh, number twenty t um, twenty uh, torque uh, socket and put it on the screw, and then slide your uh, little screwdriver or whatever. See, there's the uh, torque screw right there. It's a T twenty. If I can get it to focus. And um, if you can get a good eyesight, kind of be upside down looking at it, then you can see it pretty good. But I'm trying to record and uh, do this. So once you put it on the bolt and just screw it right on out, then you can pull it, the, the, take it off and screw it off with your hand, with your fingers. Yeah, there you go. I'm trying to feel for the other bolt now, the other screw. And I'm holding a torque socket on there, and then I slide my um, screwdriver on there and start it, and then I just screw it on off with my finger. Yeah. 
a slide. Sometimes you like that last one. You can just leave the torque screw on there and just screw it down. It should just drop, just drop down in your hand. Yep, there's nothing else attached. So, and then just do the reverse when you're getting ready to put it back. And that wire, the red wire, I had to pull the red wire off the old one and connect, put it on the connector of the uh, new one. So you might want to do that before you install it so you have a longer wire. Look at those wires and make sure the wire is about the length of the, of the old one. If not, then take the old wire off, off the old um, part and put it on the new part, the red wire only. <laughs>